Hi, it's Justin G8YTZ here. Another quick video just to explain what all the buttons do on the TTGO uh, T-Beam. Now, um, there are three uh, little uh, push buttons on the on the bottom here. The left one is quite simply power off. Just press and hold that for a couple of seconds and it'll power the unit off. Or press and hold it again, it'll power on. Of course, when power is applied, it will actually automatically power on. The right hand one is a reset, so that will actually reboot the device in case of any problems. But having said that, this software seems really, really stable. I've not had any issues there. Um, the middle one's a multifunction. Um, the first function, which I'm going to show, you may not realize if you press and hold this button, then you actually get a, a bar graph, which is actually the display brightness. So just let it go when you've got the brightness level you want and press and hold it again to go a bit brighter. If you want to go back to the beginning again, press and hold it will start again and go around in the, in the loop. So we've got a nice uh, bright bright display there. Um, the screen that's currently showed is actually the last of the screens, which is basically showing all the other nodes that the device has discovered. So if I hit that button again, there are the nodes it's discovered. Um, it's actually discovered three other nodes, plus of course this, this one here. And the first screen, is uh, just showing the last uh, uh, text uh, message that was sent and the um, first letter of the uh, name uh, uh, of the person that uh, sent that. Um, the second screen, well, the next three screens, you're actually going to cycle through the other nodes that have been discovered. So I've got a four node network, this being one of them. Uh, this, the second one here is um, uh, called G8YTZ, my to radio call sign. The third one's called ei 3 iob which is my Irish amateur radio call sign. And um, the uh, last one is also called that because I've created two nodes with the same um, uh, identity. I can change that later. Showing how far away it is, it's showing the signal strength and it's uh, showing when it last communicated with the node, which is naught seconds ago, because by pressing this cycle button, you also uh, cause a rediscovery to, of nodes to happen as well. So, um, that, that uh, happens every now and again anyway, but if we just go through um, once again, this node discovered 12 hours ago, and it's about 15 meters away, which is about right. Uh, this node um, is pretty local because it's in the next room and uh, signals 92% on that, just running on its helical antenna and uh, another, uh, another node there as well. And every time I press this button, say it kicks off uh, the um, uh, communication between all the nodes to say, oh, hello, are you there? Have I discovered you? So it can build the mesh network. Um, as far as connectors go, I've obviously got the USB um, uh, micro connector here, which you use for charging the battery. I've bought uh, the Panasonic 18650 batteries for mine because Japanese quality and uh, I'd be happy if a Panasonic battery won't burn the house down. You never know what comes out of China nowadays. And um, obviously the antenna feed, actually this is actually going through to an external antenna um, on, on the roof of the house. And um, I've got another node which is on an omnidirectional antenna. This one's actually slightly directional, so a log periodic. Um, bottom right hand corner here is the connector for the uh, GPS antenna. And there's a little GPS antenna just sitting on top of the unit that goes in the plastic box I put them in. And uh, on the left here, there's another connector, which I believe must be, can only be, the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth for 2.4 gigahertz am um, antenna. The um, ETS32 uh, uh, chip in these only has 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. Um, so... That's a very quick overview of what, what the buttons do. Uh, it took me a little while to work it out, but uh, hopefully that helps other people out. All the best, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll put another video up in the next few days, which will actually go through the whole software and uh, configuration um, uh, of, of this uh, fantastic uh, project as well.